What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel after sound here bringing you splinter lens content every single day We also stream right here on the channel every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday morning So come by and say hello All right guys I want to just take a look at the chart again and figure out where where's the potential sweet spot for Playing when it comes to the SPS staking multiplier now uh, TLDR, I, I don't have like a clear cut answer because I think it's, uh, it's important for, well, everybody's situation is different. Let's put it that way. But I do want to look at some of the patterns here and see maybe where there start to be diminishing returns. So if we just go all the way to the front or the top, you can see here that the 10 X multiplier is where we used to be. Right. And I do believe, you know, Kazarak made a comment. So shout out to Kazarak uh, on a recent video saying that the 10X multiplier is not going to be something that new players uh, like th they don't have that as their grounding or as their foundation. So when they come in, the 10X multiplier is going to mean less and less over time. And I mean, even for us, if you started earning a at, at a different multiplier outside of the 10X, I mean, that's kind of your new reality and it's not going to change anytime soon. You're just going to try and get back to as close to the 10X as possible. Or if you're above the 10X, maybe you look at advancing leagues or something. But 10X is where we used to be. And if you look at the 10X going to 12X across the board, and this is, it's not, it's not, um, you know, exact math, but you know, the rough math for it is roughly 3X. So in order to go from 10 10x to 12x, which would be a roughly 20% increase in your rewards, you'd have to 3x the amount of SPS, right? No matter what league you're in, going all the way to champion one, you'd have to go from 400,000 SPS to 1.2 million. Um, and while it doesn't seem like that much in bronze, it's still roughly the same proportion, right? You're going from uh, 1,900 to 5,700 SPS. So obviously that's a little bit more manageable because we're talking in the thousands and four digits rather than in the millions. But the, the, the ratio still applies no matter the league. It's about a 3x across the board. So if we take this down a level, again, the proportions stay the same across the board. You're looking to go from 8x to 10x, which is now a 25% increase in your multiplier, but you only have to double the amount of SPS, right? You're going from roughly 200,000 to 400,000 SPS in champion. And then if you come down to like silver or bronze, it's like, you know, Five point five and a half thousand to eleven thousand, or down in bronze, it's two hundred to four hundred, right? Two hundred thirty to four hundred and sixty, to be exact, in bronze one. That seems a little bit more manageable. You're you're doubling the amount of SPS rather than tripling the amount for twenty five percent of the gain. Well, we come down to the six x multiplier, and what you see here is that it's again roughly double. It's a little a little bit less than double, but you are getting a thirty three percent increase. So you can see that it's kind of inversely proportional, right? You have to put in uh, less SPS for a higher return the lower you go. So. Again, I, we, we don't need to bother with going in the 4X and 2X. I think for the most part, and this is why I say maybe this will end up being the sweet spot for a lot of people, is probably going to be in the 6X to 6, uh, 6X to 8X range. And the reason I say that is because, well, you know, if, if you have, if you have, however much SPS you have, let's say you're in gold and you're already at the 6X multiplier, right? It's about 15, 16,000 SPS. If you double that, which shouldn't be, well, I should say it should take a significant amount of time. I don't know how much you'd be earning in gold or how much you'd be able to put into the game. Everybody's situation is different, but to double it, right? To double it, you're going to get that 20 or 33% or, uh, gain in rewards, right? You're going from 6X to 8X, but to 4X that, you'd be going, right, to, to do like 15,000 to almost 60,000, you'd have to put significantly more SPS. You have to, you know, four times the amount of SPS. And granted, sure, it'd be a higher return overall. You'd be going from 6X to uh, to 10X, which would be roughly a 66% return. I, the, the ratio doesn't seem as wide there. So I would say, again, and this is this is probably going to be for me moving forward, where I would be looking if I was starting a new account would probably be the 6X to 8X range. If you can max out or top out the 8X range, go for it, go, go for the 10X. But I do wonder if at that point, if you're, if you're doing 8X, if for whatever reason, right, instead of doubling your SPS, let's say you're in diamond one, doubling your SPS to go from 90,000 to 180,000, 
would it make more sense just to jump into champion and start earning more chests that way, right? And here's the thing. Diamond and champion are actually a terrible example. So let, let me let me go away from that. Let's go to gold, right? So for example, you're in gold. If you have 29,000 SPS, you could go up, right? You could double the amount of SPS that you have and essentially, uh, and essentially you know, earn that 10x multiplier. Or what you could consider is instead of doubling the SPS, you already see that for diamond three, you have more than enough for the 6x multiplier. And, you know, you'd already be somewhat on your way uh, to the 8x multiplier for diamond three. So you wouldn't be quite there at the 8x. You'd be between the 6 and the 8x, uh, probably not even at 7x. But you could take that extra capital and start leveling up your deck if you wanted to play at the higher levels, right? Going from gold to diamond or going from silver to gold or going from bronze to silver. So uh, diamond is the only weird one, diamond to champion, because there's no there's no additional um, cost to level up your deck, right? You're playing with max cards in diamond and in champion. That's why I said it's a bad example. But that's kind of where I would look at if you're new to the game or if you've kind of had to had uh, kind of had your uh, multiplier reset. 8x seems to be the sweet spot. Again, if you can do at least a minimum of 6x to play in that league, go for it. Jump up to 8x and then make that decision. Do I want to go for the full 10x or is it worth it to start going and playing at a higher level? Maybe for better reward chests, maybe for higher quality reward chests, um, uh, and maybe for higher SPS rewards because you'd be dipping into a different pool. But again, that's a decision that everybody needs to make for themselves. Maybe there are some people out there that love playing in silver or gold. They know that they can sustainably stay in each of those uh, each of those ranges, right? Uh, with however many sets that come out in the future, they're not going to be maxing out each and every deck but they can max out a silver or a gold deck and then leave it at that. Well, at that point, your, your decision is somewhat made for you, right? If you have all the cards that you need, you're competing already and everything looks good, well, then shoot for that 10x multiplier. Shoot, shoot for that 12x multiplier, who knows? But um, that's kind of my thoughts on this. Uh, for me personally, I'm obviously playing in Diamond 2 and Diamond 1, and thankfully I do have a higher than 10x, just slightly higher than 10x multiplier, but nowhere near the 12x multiplier, right? Because you can see Diamond 1, the 12x multiplier is 546,000, uh, whereas Champion 1 is uh, for the 10x is 417. So for me, the goal, even though I don't think that with my current col card collection, I'll be able to make it to champion one, the goal still for me is to get enough SPS that I could have that 10x multiplier in champion one. But at the end of the day, I'd still get the 8x multiplier in champion one, which isn't terrible. So if it's like for me, the decision now is, do I continue filling out the rest of my deck? Right, I don't have to level up, but I, I suppose I could continue filling out the rest of my deck and seeing if I can round it out in order to rise the ranks in champion. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That is all I have for you guys in this video. And I'm curious to know how you guys feel about this and what your overall game plan is now that we've had, you know, almost two weeks for this uh, change to be, or since this change was implemented. But that is all I have. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.